Hey everyone, welcome to Richie Livestock ID. As I travel around the country to our trade shows and talk to our farmers and ranchers, I often hear problems that people have with tool pins and the button or the backing. This quick how-to video is going to explain everything you need to know. Okay, so we're gonna start by showing you why it is so critical to pair the right manufacturer's tool pins with their button. What I've got here are three different companies, tool pins and buttons. I've got a Whitex, an Allflex, and a Ritchie Clover button. So each of these buttons, I've cut in half to show you the inside. So this is a Whitex button or backing, and if you can see, there's a little metal nipple inside there. That metal nipple pairs up perfectly with the Whitex tool pin that's got a hollow tip. So when you're inserting these, you can see that that metal tip slides right down on that nipple for a perfect fit, okay? So the Y-Tex setup is designed specifically for this tool pin and this button. If I were to use an all-flex tool pin, it's just not gonna work and you're gonna run into problems most of the time, okay? So that's the Y-Tex example. Let's look at the all-flex button. I've got that cut in half as well. And as you see, that setup is specifically made so that tip goes all the way down into the metal insert there at the bottom of the button, and it's just a perfect little fit. And finally, here's the Ritchie Clover button and the Ritchie tool pin, and again, a perfect little fit to make sure that the tool pin is inserted all the way down to the tip of the button so you get a nice insertion there. I can't even fit this Y-Tex tool pin into our button. So for those of you who have run into problems with the tool pin busting through the side of a button or a button tip busting out, this is most likely the reason. It is absolutely critical that you match up the correct button with the proper tool pin. The last thing I want to show you is that nearly every tool pin is interchangeable with other taggers. As an example, this is the Whitex Ultra Tagger and with the Whitex tool pin, and I'm simply going to screw that out of this tagger whoops, and screw in the Ritchie tool pin. So if you already have the Whitex Ultra Tagger and you wish to cut over to Richie's new Clover pin, it's as easy as that. I hope some of these tips really help you out when it comes to successfully tagging your animals.